And coach, uh, your team able to get that win over Hampshire last week. Uh, what did you kind of take away from the game, and uh, can you give us a recap of it too? Uh, we we went up there. Uh, when I talked to you guys last week, we were setting ourselves up defensively to what formation and what plays they had run. They came out in two back. We executed really well on defense, causing turnovers. Uh, offensively, Ryan went with sick. Uh, going to aim our offensive line, did their jobs. Uh, overall, it was a complete win. Even did very. Coach Ray, if you can hear me, you're kind of cutting out right now. Uh, if you're able to get back into a different spot, potentially, or call us back. Okay, do you got me now? Yeah, it sounds a little bit better now. So you kind of cut out at the uh, start of when you were saying that Ryan Went was sick, if you can pick it up from there. Yeah, Ryan Went was sick. Uh, so Braylon ended up getting the start after the first two series, and he the game, our offensive line blocked really well, uh, knew their assignments, our wide receivers did real well, special teams, we, we were solid there. Uh, it was a complete win on Friday night. So as we said, 38 nothing. your team gets a shutout. How much momentum does that build up within your program here for the end of the season? Uh, the kids are excited. Uh, we're trying to build momentum. We got two more games left. Uh, I know there's an outside chance we can make the playoffs. We told the kids over the bye week if there was any chance that we'd have, uh, we got to treat every game for the rest of the season like the playoff game. So that's what our kids are doing. Coach, defensively, we talked about last week how Hampshire has it throws a lot of different things at you, and this was your first shutout of the season for the defense. So. Uh, how proud are you of that group and just what were they able to do uh, to get that shutout against a tough offense that runs a lot of different things? Um, it's got to be exciting to see the, the progress that you guys have made defensively. Uh, defensively all year, we've, we've played very consistent. We stay. I eat the year too much. Uh, it was real exciting to get the shut out. The kids were pumped about it. Uh, it's just we're progressing more and more, and we've switched some guys around over the bye week going into Hampshire and got a few guys different here and there, but our defensive line played really solid, and our linebackers were able to run clean. You mentioned some switches that you guys made. Can you kind of say any specifics into that? Uh, we 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 brought a lot of pressure against Hampshire. They were in two back. Uh, Kojo and Brock did a really good job on setting the edges. Uh, Grant Clark was coming outside from our sand position, setting the edge really hard. John John was eating up three or four guys to blocking the whole game, and Garrett was the whole Garrett stuff. He was constantly causing uh, havoc in the inside. Musselman, this week, Coach, you mentioned it. You guys still have an outside shot of potentially making the playoffs and obviously would need to win this game to get in. Um, what do you see about this Musselman team so far? I know they've had their ups and downs, but still a, a talented group. Uh, Musselman's been all over the roller coaster offensively. Uh, they, they changed up some quarterbacks and moved some stuff around and have gone back to, to what I say is more tradu uh, traditional Musselman football. Uh, they're trying to pound the ball inside there. They do throw it. Uh, we don't know what they're going to get. I just know that when I turn the film on and I've and gone and actually watched Musselman play this year, their defense is real gritty and tough, and their offensive line is big, and they try to move guys around and establish a line of scrimmage. That's something that we've heard from numerous coaches this year is that really the defense is the strength, it seems like, of this Musselman team this year. So how do you make sure that – Offensively, you guys have a leg up and can score. Offensively, we're going to do what we do. Uh, we're going to try to run the football, uh, and if we can establish the run really well, it's going to open up our passing game. I mean, we're going to have a freshman that's going to start the game, but Ryan's probably going to see some time there. Uh, we're, we're just going to do what we can do. Coach, is that a change uh, just because you feel like the, the younger quarterback's giving you a little bit more, or, or is it due to Ryan being sick, or what exactly leads to that change? Uh, I, all year we've used both of them, but uh, I've always been taught from all the head coaches I, I've coached with through the past when back a year you stay with the hot hand, and right now Bray was the hot hand, so he's going to start the game out. 
Let's switch over to the other side of the ball, Coach, and talk about the defensive side for your team. What are you kind of going into to make sure you can keep uh, Musselman's offense to its struggles? We definitely have to run. You're cutting in and out again, Coach, if you can hear me. Sorry. Can you get me now? Yeah, a little bit better if you can stay there. Okay. Uh, no, we're going to do what we usually do on defense. Uh, we're set up to their formations and what they run, and we're going to try to stop the run. All right, Coach, before we let you go, uh, let's get into our fun question for this week, and it is um, who was your kind of role model or idol growing up and why? Uh, that'd be my father. Uh, he coached Pee Wee sports and was always around my brothers and I and uh, instilled football and discipline in all the sports that we did. It'd be my dad. All right, Coach Ray, appreciate the time this week and good luck against Musselman on Friday night. Thank you, guys. You have a great day.